super simple. It's right below your nose. That you can just do with one hand. Yep. And then the one after that is right below your mouth. Right here, there's that little crease on your chin. Yep. And then the next one is you can feel like you have those two, you feel your collarbones right here, mm -hmm. those two bones. It's like right below, you'll feel the bones and go right below it, right below those bones. Yep, just like that. And sometimes people will just take one hand and tap, but I usually do two fingers like that. Yep. And then the next one is under our arms. You can go like this. You kind of look like a monkey. <laughs> so you just tap like that. Yep. And then our wrists. We tap our wrists together like this. Yep. And the very last one is on top of our head. So just right on top of our head. Yep. Right there. So with tapping, if you were, I'm gonna, we're gonna tap on bullying, but say you were just really sad one morning, you woke up, you just didn't feel right about something. You were sad, a little upset or worried. You could just try to remember some of those points, which after a while, it seemed like a lot of points to you and you think, how will I remember that? But after a while you remember, and you don't have to use all those points. You don't have to remember all of them. But say you just felt, oh, gosh, I just don't feel right. I'm not really happy. You could just tap. You don't have to say anything and you can just tap on some of those points. You just feel what you're feeling and you tap. And when you do that, that's telling your brain that you're okay, that everything's okay. And you can let go of whatever that sadness is. It's just, you don't even have to say anything and your body knows just by tapping on those points to just let that icky feeling go. 